Hello everyone, in the today's video we will talk about COIN which is a dependency injection framework that is very easy to use and trust me you will love it. Before implementing COIN in our application let's see what differences are between COIN and Dagger Hilt. Okay so the first difference between them is that Dagger is a compile time DI framework that generates code to manage dependencies and this offers an excellent performance and type safety. But COIN is a runtime DI framework that is generally simpler to set up but might have a slight performance overhead compared to Dagger. Another difference between them is that Dagger uses annotations and interfaces to declare its dependencies. On the other part Coin uses a Kotlin DSL configuration that offers a more conscious way and a declarative syntax. With that all said, let's jump into Android Studio and let's go into the build at gradle.kts and now let's click on this dependency and make sure that you have these dependencies added in the libsversions.toml and here is my version 3.5.5. Make sure that you add them in the build.gradle.kts from the app module and now let's get back to the main activity. Now let's create a uh, repository that we want to inject for example. So let's say um, interface and we can create a coffee repository and this will have a function called get coffee and we want to implement this interface. So let's say class coffee repository repository implementation and Let's inherit from the coffee repository and let's implement the members. And now let's simply say that we return a flat white. Now let's also create a view model that will get this coffee repository implementation. So let's say class coffee view model and in the constructor we want to receive a coffee repository. I forgot to say all and for those who aren't that familiar with uh, dependency injection this means that we can inject the coffee repository implementation because it inherits the coffee repository type so we can inject it here in our view model let's also inherit the view model and let's open the curly brackets or we can simply leave them like that but let's let's continue by creating another function that we'll call the get coffee so let's say fun get coffee and it will return a string let's say equals with coffee repository get coffee okay and now let's see how we can initiate coin so let's go here and let's simply call start coin and here we can create the dependency for the coffee repository so let's create a module or module equals module of the, from the coin library so now let's say single single and now let's pass the coffee repository type here and we will return the coffee repository implementation or you can simply write this single off and return the coffee repository implementation and now let's also declare the view model so view model off and simply pass the coffee view model and now to add this in coin we need to say modules and pass the module here if you record the context in a repository you can create it here under it context pass the this main activity and this will get injected in your repository. Now let's see how we can inject this in a composable. So let's say home screen and let's remove the modifier. Let's say view model and it's of type coffee view model. And now we can simply say coin view model. Now let's create a launch defect block that will print the get coffee function. So let's say true and here let's say log the coffee name and let's call the your model get coffee and don't forget to call this composable here and now let's run the application okay and as you can see here it appears flat white and now let's go back to that example in which you need the context in non repository so let's say that we need it here so let's say private wall context and 
we can also use the single coffee repository coffee repository implementation and to get the context here we need to say get and this will give us the context so let's rerun the application and see if it's everything okay and as you can see the flat white appeared again and that's it and as you can see coin is very easy to set it up and to use and i hope you like this video and make sure to follow me on my blog and see you in the next video